and in this lecture we talk about gases so let me uh, give you a brief introduction what we're going to cover in this lecture first we talk about properties of gases and then basic gas laws and also from basic gas laws how we going to develop ideal gas equation so what are the properties of gases they don't have a shape they take the uh, volume of the container, very low density, highly compressible. So those are the main properties. So if you define, if you want to define a gas, you want to use certain properties to define a gas. So let's see what are the main properties of the gas. Properties of gases. Pressure. Temperature. What else? Uh, volume. Amount. Number of moles. Okay. So in uh, in gas in these basic gas laws, what you do, you see how these uh, these properties interrelate with each other. So pressure is you can use P. For pressure, temperature T, keep in mind always you use Kelvin temperature, volume liters, N number of moles. Okay, number of moles always N. So, uh, what is pressure? Pressure is force divided by area. So, pressure, pressure is force divided by area is pressure. So, uh, what are the units that we can use to measure the pressure of gases? You can use atmospheric pressure. So, basically, um, atmospheric pressure, tau, millimeters, mercury. Those are the units we can use to measure the uh, pressure. Basically, if you use the, uh, if you think about the conversion, uh, one atm equal seven sixty millimeters mercury. Uh, and also, a one, it's equal to 101.325 kilopascal. Okay, so the, these, this is the uh, unit conversion for pressures. So this is uh, the introduction for this gas chapter. And now, what we're going to look? Now we're going to look ba basic gas laws. In this video, I'm explaining you three basic gas law, Boyle's law, Charles law, Avogadro's law and from these three basic gas laws how you come up to the ideal gas equation so the three uh, gas laws the basic gas laws that we are going to uh, that I'm going to explain here basic gas laws Boyle's law Charles law Avogadro's law and from there from these three gas laws let's see how we're gonna uh, come up to the Avogadro um, sorry ideal gas equation so the first gas law that we are looking today is Boyle's law what is Boyle's law discuss? Boyle's law discuss the relationship between pressure and volume, Ke keeping temperature and the number of moles constant. So this is the relationship between pressure is P and volume is V. What do you think the relationship between pressure and volume is? Think about when you increase the pressure, you trap some gas to a uh, piston and you increase the pressure. What happened to the volume? Obviously, it's decrease, right? So the pressure, you when you increase the pressure, volume decrease. That kind of relationship you call inverse relationship. So increasing the pressure, decreasing volume. So pressure and volume has inverse relationship. So you can write with proportionality in indirect relationship. So in, in, if you consider two situations, you can write. Uh, so before considering two, let me see. So the P v is a constant right pv is a constant so if you take two conditions you can write the equation 
two conditions P1 V1 equals P2 V2. P1 V1 equals P2 V2 is Boyle's law. So this is the Boyle's law. Boyle's law talk about the relationship between pressure and volume. So let me um, draw and also you need to keep in mind that in Boyle's law you talk about relationship between pressure and volume keeping temperature and number of moles constant. If you think about let me uh, draw a graph between pressure and volume you get the relationship like this but if you draw a graph between uh, V volume and 1 over P you get a straight line like this. Okay, So this is the Boyle's law. So this is the very uh, first gas law that we are discussing today. And then let me explain you the next gas law we are doing that is Charles law. Charles law. In Charles law we look at the relationship between volume and temperature. What do you think the relationship between volume and temperature? Increase the temperature will increase the volume. You can easily demonstrate this technique at home. You fill a balloon and then you slowly take the balloon to the hot water bath. You see the balloon expand and then you slowly take the balloon to the cold water balloon try to get shrink because increase the temperature increase the kinetic energy of the gas molecules that increase the volume. So that means increasing temperature increase volume as as soon as you increase the temperature increase volume that means the relationship between volume and temperature is direct. Volume in directly proportional to temperature increasing volume increase temperature. So you can write um, V divided by T is a constant. Okay, So if you think about a relationship between volume and a temperature in two conditions, in considering two conditions, you can write V1 divided by T1 equals V2 divided by T2. This is Charles' law. V1 divided by T1 equals V2 divided by T2 is Charles' law. If you plot a graph between temperature and volume, you get a straight line. So this is the Charles' law. We talk about relationship between volume and temperature. Okay, now we are talking about Avogadro's law. What is Avogadro's law described? Avogadro's law talk about relationship between volume and number of moles. What is the relationship between volume and number of moles? Obviously, right? Number of moles increase, volume increase. Higher the number of moles, you need a bigger space. So, V and N has, again, direct relationship. You can write V divided by N is constant. If you think about two conditions, you can write V1 divided by N1 equals V2 divided by N2. So this is our third basic gas law, Avogadro's law. And also, I want you to introduce something, some other important thing, STP. What is STP? STP. S standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure. In Avogadro's it also described in standard temperatures and pressures the volume of any one mole of gas molecule equal to 22.4 liters. What is the standard temperature? Standard temperature is 0 Celsius. Standard pressure is 1 atm. That means any gas, if it if you have one mole of a gas, example helium one mole. What is the mass of helium one mole? Four grams, right? One mole of helium is four grams. And then if you have one mole of a gas in standard temperature, which is at zero degrees and one atm, the volume is 22.4 liters. 
So that is the standard temperatures and pressures. So with this, we finish basic gas laws. We discuss three basic gas, the, the three gas laws. Boyle's law describe relationship between volume and pressure. Charles law describe relationship between volume and temperature. And finally, we talk about Avogadro's law that talk about relationship between volume and number of moles. So let me summarize. So with the, all these information, we need all this information to develop ideal gas equation. So now let's see how we can develop ideal gas equation. Ideal gas equation. Okay, so in Boyle's law, we talk about V inversely proportional to pressure. Charles law talk about V directly proportional to temperature. And then um, Avogadro's law, V proportional to number of moles. So these are the three things that we discuss. So now can we can you isolate V into one side? Yes, right? So I can write this way. Let me start from here. V, so let me, st again I'm starting here. V proportional to 1 over P, T and N. So, so this is a, this is not a, in order to make an equality, you use the gas constant. So you can write V equal R T N, I just add R using equal and P. So you can take P, you multiply P from both sides, right? So P, P cancel out and then you have P V equal N is here, R T. PV equal NRT is ideal gas equation. So if I define the terms in ideal gas equation, P is pressure, V is volume, N number of moles, R gas constant, R gas constant, T temperature always using Kelvin. How do you do convert Celsius to uh, Kelvin? You add to 73 degrees. All the gas laws use te temperature in Kelvin. So to summarize, we did so far, we talk about properties of gases, right? And then important, more, most important properties of a gas, if you want to describe, it is pressure, P, volume, V, number of moles, N, temperature, T. From that, we describe three basic gas laws, which is Boyle's law, Charles' law, Avogadro's law. From there, we deduce the ideal gas equation, which is PV equals NRT. So we talk about ideal gas equation. Now let's see what are the uses of this ideal gas equation. So ideal gas equation is PV equal NRT. P is pressure, V is volume, and number of moles, R gas constant, T is temperature. So using this ideal gas equation, you can use, you can find many other information. You can find density of a gas, you can find molar mass, number of moles, and also more mass of the gas as well. So now let's see how to find the density of the gas, and also molar mass using this ideal gas equation. So first part, we'll do density of a gas using ideal gas equation. So let's see, we need to do some modifications to get the density from ideal gas equation. So let's, let me write PV equals NRT. Let me divide both sides from volume. Divide both sides from V. So then I'm getting PV divided by V n r t divide by v v to b v cancel p equal n r t divide by v and then you divide both sides by r t r t p divide by r t equal n r t v divide by r t this RT, this RT cancel. So I've, I'm writing here, P divided by RT, you have N 
divide by V, right? So what is this now? P is pressure, R is gas constant, P is temperature in Kelvin. What is N? Number of moles. What? How to find the number of moles? N. Always you can find N equals given mass or the mass of the gas divided by molar mass. You can write the mass of the gas N equal lowercase m molar mass uppercase m. Okay. So then this N and this N is same, right? So you can write P divided by RT equals m uppercase m into 1 over v. So I can, this is same thing I can rearrange. P, this side is same, rt, m divided by v into 1 over m, uppercase m. What is density? Density is mass divided by volume. Do you see density in this equation? This is density, right? This is density. So you can write um, P divided by RT equals D over uppercase M. So that means density you can find if you multiply both sides by uppercase M. M, M density equals M P divided by RT. So you can find density. This is M is molar mass, pressure, gas constant, temperature. Similarly, if you want to find molar mass, if you know the density, you can find that as well. So I hope you understand how to find the uh, density and molar mass from this ideal gas equation and the rearranging part. Always keep in mind, you can use, because you have N number of moles, which is given mass divided by molar mass, you can use that to find the mass of the gas, molar mass of the gas, as well as the density.